I am at Euston Station in London and I'm on my way to Dublin. So how I'm doing that is via train and ferry. You can obviously see I've got my little dog with me, this is Pumba. And um, we are traveling on a Vanty West Coast train from Euston directly to Hollyhead. And then from there we are traveling with Stena Line. I've actually booked a pet cabin for Pumba for the first time. So I'm very excited to try that out. It also means he gets to stay with me for the whole journey, which is just gonna make it so much easier. He's such a good little traveler, uh, but he hates being separated from me. So um, previously we had to use the onboard kennels. Right now we're just gonna chill. I've got a Starbucks coffee and um, I'm just waiting for the platform to be announced for our train. We're a good half hour before departure time. I wanted to get here and just relax. And um, it's also a good point to actually pick up a couple of bits like a coffee or, you know, to get some food and stuff because in a train station, you can take your dog with you to most of the food places, whereas anywhere else you can't. So um, yeah, I'm very excited and um, hopefully we have a smooth journey. Euston isn't really my favorite station for picking up bits like that. Um, like I say, I'm up at the Starbucks, which is nice. They've got a really nice seating area that overlooks the um, train station. But in terms of food, there's not a lot of options and there's a lot of construction going on and there's a lot of places closed. So um, I know there's like a Burger King and like a sandwich place and stuff, but um, yeah, not as good as a lot of the other main uh, stations in London. So just be prepared. You're not gonna have a huge amount of food options. now if you're coming without a dog uh, there's lots of more options right outside the station but um obviously with Pumba I really can only use the places that are here in the train station. we last spoke so the train journey was actually really smooth I was delighted with that to be honest because last time I had a direct train booked it got cancelled and I had to do a double change this was so much smoother it was so easy Pumba just chilled out he doesn't really sleep on trains because he gets so excited to see what's going on but he did chill out and um, eventually I had a seat free beside me as well which was nice um but yeah got here to the terminal was actually here probably about half an hour before they started to board. So they do start boarding passengers. It was about, it was just over an hour before our scheduled sailing time. They started to check us in, then put us on a bus and brought us over to the ferry. Uh, Pumba actually made a little friend. So I let him just play for that whole half hour, which means that he is pretty shattered now, which is nice. So hopefully he's gonna chill out now for the ferry journey but we have made it to our cabin when I checked in I was given my key card for the cabin I just checked the number on there and then I got the bus over like I say after I checked in and through security and when the bus drops you off then you just basically climb the stairs up and um, do make sure you check your cabin number and don't just follow everybody because your cabin might be lower than the main passenger deck which mine is and um, so yeah when I just got to the right deck we're on deck eight I just came to our cabin and it's really nice. Let me show you around. I'm actually really happy with it. And um, I think, <laughs> I think Pump is ready for a nap. <laughs> All right, so this is the door that I came in. I've now just locked that. We've got some light switches here. Um, I think this is some maybe sea sickness bags or just trash bags. And then tucked away in here, we've got a ladder. <laughs> Not too sure what that's about um and there's like a little shelf thing up here as well um oh i think that's actually a puppy pad oh that's quite clever actually um but then we've got a mirror here it is a full length pumba is checking himself out down there and then there's this cute little desk here um you would just fit your laptop on there but it has got plug sockets usb sockets and then it's also actually got an ethernet port which is interesting i wonder if you get good 
internet signal if you have a cable with you and can plug in like that. I'm not sure because I feel like you don't get much signal on the crossing obviously so yeah but you might get some good signal for the hour or so that you're on the ferry before you depart. And there's waters left out here now I assume these are complimentary because yeah they're just left here there's a spring water um, and a sparkling so that's quite a nice little touch as well. I've just left Pumba's lead and harness there and there is a duty free brochure here as well and then a little chair then there is I think four beds here yeah so this is a pull down bed pull down bed pull down bed and then the bed that's already out and made this is the only one we're going to use obviously it's just me and Pumba and um then we've got another little sort of side table here with two more USB ports plug socket some light switches oh and another plug socket then as well and then there's the remote for the television um which is actually if we turn around over here now something you might have noticed is that there is no windows so the pet cabins you only have the option i believe of the inside cabins i don't think there's anything with a window um i definitely didn't see any when i booked uh but we do have a nice little toilet so we'll just open in here get the light on so we've got a shower toilet sink everything you need really nice big bathroom mirror there as well i was just checking the place out and uh yeah this is really handy i might actually even have a quick body shower you know you always feel a bit icky when you're traveling and i did bring you know shower gel that sort of stuff with me as well there is a little dispenser here then for shampoo and shower gel and there's actually a little shaving port then as well Got towel rail and stuff there now they do actually leave a towel out on the bed for you oh and i do have a thermostat um i don't know if that oh no okay so all that's going to do is actually heat the cabin which i don't want because it is a bit warm so i'm going to leave that turned off and um, there's the little tv up there and i think that kind of covers the cabin and um, but i will keep you updated as we're going through the journey let you know how we're getting on i don't know what the story is with leaving the cabin dogs are not allowed in the passenger area of the ferry other than to go from boarding to the kennels and then from kennels to leaving the ship so i don't know like is it okay to leave pumba here pop to the duty free like i'm not really sure what the crack is with that but i guess it maybe it just depends on your own dog like if your dog is comfortable being left on his own pumba's normally fine <laughs> he's just flopped down on the bed <laughs> i think he is turned in now for the rest of the journey A decent chunk of time has passed. I managed to get some sleep as did Pumba over here. He's still snoozing away. Um, yeah, I had a really good sleep. Actually, the bed is super comfortable. Uh, I just had some stuff playing on my phone. I was watching it made in Chelsea. And uh, yeah, then just passed out. So um, yeah, that was a good way to pass some time. It is just 10 past five now. We're due to dock. We're due to be there at six, but I imagine we're probably gonna dock about quarter to six because we did. Uh, leave the port I think right on 2 45 p.m so I'm just gonna now freshen myself up a little bit I did like bring on a few cosmetics and stuff I've got like a face mask and I'm gonna go in and just wash my face brush my teeth just kind of freshen up a bit and um, yeah hopefully I'll feel in like a little bit better than getting off the boat it's nice to do that when traveling i was gonna have a shower but um i'm actually gonna wait until i get home and i'll use my shower mostly because pumba like most dogs will just always get me dirty so you know he gets like his paws all over my clothes when we're traveling and stuff so i didn't want to um make some more clothes dirty i'm gonna wait and then have a proper shower when i get home but i'm just gonna go like wash my face and freshen up a bit and um like i say i've got a few bits with me here i didn't um go and get any food or anything on the boat this time on the ferry um <laughs> i did actually though pop down to the duty free and i picked up this bottle of champagne it was only 25 pounds in the duty free and i am pretty sure like 99% sure this is actually the champagne that they serve on British Airways 
and it's really nice um they did have like some moe and stuff as well but um i just know that i like this champagne and i just wanted to bring a little something home i always try and bring something back for the family so i did just actually leave pumba in the cabin i have a, like a proper fob for the door it's like a hotel room door or like you would have on like a cruise ship or whatever i just have my own key card no one else has access so i felt comfortable enough leaving him and i literally was gone in about five minutes i couldn't find anything to suggest like what if there were any particular rules or anything like that the ferry companies are really poor at putting that kind of information up you actually can't find much information about taking your dog on board for example i wanted to know which ships would have the kennel up on the passenger deck versus down with the cars and the cargo and that's like a big difference in terms of your experience because if the dogs are up on the passenger deck you can actually go to where the kennels are take your dog out for a walk and everything and it just gives you a bit of extra peace of mind whereas if they're down with the cars you can't go anywhere near them and also well i think you can but you need a member of staff to, to escort you down but if you're on any sort of sailing that isn't smooth it's very unlikely they'll let you go down and it's also just a bit more distressing for the dogs because there's car alarms going off and everything and um, so yeah i just think that there just isn't great information about that but like i say i just popped out um he's super comfortable here he's feeling right at home here just sleeping away on the bed it was actually only when i went out to the duty free that i realized that i'm on the Stenoline estrid ship which is the one that i've been on plenty of times before i was actually scheduled to be on the adventurer and um, now in terms of the pet cabins i think it's pretty much identical in that um it looks like it was the same class of cabin the same type i think the ships are very similar but if pumba was not here with me in the cabin on estrid he would be on the passenger deck kennels which is why previously i've always gone on the estrid and the adventurer the kennels are down in the um car deck so um yeah i just didn't realize until i was on the boat that it was actually the estrid because it was scheduled to be the adventure but there was some crazy delays yesterday with the ferries really really bad um, I think there was like up to 10 hour delays and I think they cancelled a few and so I guess at some point the ships got mixed up on their or swapped over I guess on their schedule um, and hence why we've ended up on the estuary. So that's all well and good. It doesn't really make too much of a difference having the pet cabin really. It means as well then I wasn't too bothered about doing much exploring because I've been on the ship a few times. I only really wanted to pop out quickly anyway and just come back and make sure Pumbo was alright but he was fine. He was just sleeping away. I've just come over to the desk. I'm gonna do my face mask. I've just washed my face, so I'm feeling a little bit fresher. I've also got really dry eyes, so um, I brought this eye mist spray, uh, which is quite cool because you can just spray it while your eyes are closed. And then when you blink and stuff, it just hydrates your eyes. Obviously not great if you're wearing like makeup on them, but I've got this Korean skin eye patch so I'm gonna give that a go. They have just announced that it is time to disembark so I have just packed up the room and um, for passengers we have to head to the reception on deck seven and then just wait for the cars to finish unloading and then we're ready to go but this little guy is ready to go I think. You ready to go? We made it to Dublin safe and sane. I've actually been home a few days now and our trip was so smooth, especially compared to previous sailings. I really, really enjoyed the pet cabin and highly recommend. I think I got it for about £40, but the price does fluctuate depending on when you book. And one thing we did have with our sailing was that it took us quite a lot of time to get off the ship when it docked. And that was just because it was a very busy sailing due to all of the disruption that had happened over the previous day. We we actually had I think all of the Irish ferry passengers on our ferry as well all of the foot passengers and so they just weren't able to load the buses up quick enough so um that was the only sort of downside of my journey but otherwise all very smooth and yeah really enjoyed the pet cabin so I'm so happy I have one booked on the return journey as well what I'll do is I'll leave you guys with some footage from the last few days of just Pumba having a great time with his two little cousins here in Dublin if you have any questions at all leave them in the comments down below happy to come back and answer those for you and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!